All right, and we are live with Dega here at the Pace Studio in downtown Atlanta, Georgia. Thank you both for being here today. Thanks, thanks for having us. us. <laughs> yeah, Kaylin and Aslan, thanks so much for making the stop, uh, coming down to do this. Um, we've got to hear three songs today, one of which is a single that just came out uh, a couple weeks back. So we're excited for that, but we have a couple ahead of that, and I would love to hear about the first song. First song is called Golden Gods. <laughs> Sounding great. Thanks. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. You guys feeling good? Feeling great. Feeling good. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> Did you get the IFC mug? Yeah. I just got the biggest one. It's, in it's there. the biggest one. Yeah. I was looking for a regular cup and then everything else I was afraid I would break. <laughs> well, good call. <laughs> um, yeah. Again, Kaylin Aslan, thank you so much for being here. Um, so, a couple things to talk about. Um, I'm going to throw out one sort of uh, past tidbit. 
um, only because I really love the band. It's sort of old news, but at one point you guys were on tour with Washed Out back in 2017. I just <laughs> love them so much. And it sounds like you guys do as well. We love Ernest and everybody, Cameron. Cool. And, uh, yep. Yeah, that was a blast. Yeah. It was that really was so fun. so much fun. Yep. Yeah. Dylan, and that was that was like Blair. how how far into the band's uh, sort of development was was that tour was that kind of towards the earlier days of these songs being born in this project? Um, it was right after the I guess the record was the record out. Was mm. it not quite out yet? I don't think it was out yet. Yeah, the record wasn't quite pre-order. out, but we um, we recorded the record and and it didn't come out for a little bit. So the um, the songs were fresh to the world, but we had been had already been playing them or had written them. Probably a year and a half, two years prior to that. Right. But, uh, that that's. But a, it was still new energy, getting to you know be out there and play them. Yeah. You know that that delayed life cycle of the songs has been a lot of people have mentioned that like yeah I mean it's new I have to act like it's new but I've these things have been <laughs> in my life for like a year or however long you know or ten <laughs> yeah or ten yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Um, cool. Well, I think it's interesting how you sort of came together. Um, this is a family affair and. Your respective uh, independent career endeavors had kind of driven you both apart for like you were both constantly touring and never together. And this was sort of a, a good way of uh, building some time into your schedule. And I, I think it's really cool. And then right after that, you guys moved to Joshua Tree, right? And sort of this was all born. Um, I'd love to hear just a little bit more about that. So I'm not reading it back to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dago was the answer to see one another for sure. We were um, just touring and, and, and literally, like, from a literal sense, didn't, you know, get to spend any time together. And, and then one day we were talking on the phone and we're just like, man, like, how do we, how do we make this happen? And we're like, let's, let's make music. So it's kind of where yeah. this whole project. I think you were on the road. I was on the road. And we ended up just meeting at a friend's house in, in Nashville, in, Nashville, in yeah. his basement and just kind of. And started. Started kind of, you know, plugging away at trying to get some ideas down, and then it just kind of snowballed from there. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, and uh, and what we're hearing today is sort of a little bit different than uh, the record versions of these songs, and we can talk a little bit about that uh, after, at the next break or whatever. But, um, yeah, thanks for sharing sort of a little bit about how this all started, and I think it's a really cool thing that you're like, whoa, wait a second. We got we to gotta coalesce here more often, so <laughs> I think it's awesome. <laughs> thanks. Um, <laughs> So yeah, what's uh what what are we gonna hear next? Um, we're gonna play Ocean Love. Okay. Did you need a retune or are you good? I'm just gonna make sure I'm in real quick. Cool. <laughs> Ocean love and how I'm 
missing you I'm always so Gotta get through I'll be there soon So we got a little switching going switch on, right? Flip-flop. Position switching. Mm-hmm. I will. Uh, I'll try to keep it interesting while that happens here. <laughs> um, so yeah, you. Uh, the debut Dega record uh, is out on. Was out on Lemonade uh, in 2018, um, and the original version of that album track for Already Know is the slow version, which that single just came out a couple weeks back, um, and that's what we're about to hear, which I think mm-hmm. is very cool. Um, that sort of uh, stripped back version is a little bit like an upcoming project that we're also going to hear from you both, Kaylin and Aslan, on, on, which will be on New West Records at some point in 2020. So we're excited about that. Um, we I are love as well. the, Oh, go ahead, please. We are as well. <laughs> I was just going to say I love the sound of the record, but I can't wait to hear uh, more uh, of, of this kind of stuff as well. I love like the kind of... Uh, dark wave sort of 80s like like synth led uh versions of these uh, some of this stuff on the record um but i can't wait to hear this and it sound check sounded awesome so i think this is going to be really cool Thank um you. thanks but yeah uh, i think that's cool uh keep it going and i 2020 is going to take you guys back out on the road as well mm-hmm. we are yeah, yeah i think we're gonna i think right now on the schedule we're gonna try to do south by and I think savannah stopover maybe and cool handful of other stuff and hopefully start the new record will come out in may and uh yeah start yeah it's it's a tour in the summer hopefully do some more festivals and stuff so yeah. right on we'll come back and see us again you guys can we do this all the time we're always <laughs> doing it so please anytime <laughs> uh we'd love to have you back but uh i'll let you close us out with this last song um and yeah so this is the slow version um and like you said uh and i'll let you tell us more but it's uh, this is kind of the original version of what appears on the record right yeah this was uh i think when I think we were actually, we were working on some solo stuff for her um, at Chase Park in Athens with our good buddy Drew Vandenberg, and um, I was in the studio, and I think in like the B room there, and they just had like a little road set up, and kind of this came out of it. I think we might have tracked like a version that day, and then, mm-hmm. and then I guess... I don't even know how it was like a year or two. It morphed a couple different yeah, times. Yeah, a couple different times. But, uh, and then on the Dega record, we kind of studioed just, it out a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we were just having a good time in the studio, and, and it became what it is on the record. But this was stripped back like this. I mean, I would say the majority of our songs, even with Dega, start on one instrument. So really, um, I like to think that it's just about songs anyway at the end of the day. So. <laughs> So this is the song. This was the song. In its original form. (laughs) Excellent. Can't wait to hear it.
where you started from You walk right back where you started from You don't even realize Until this real life You walk right back where you started from You walk right back where you started from great you guys thank you thank you for sharing these songs and your time and for for coming down from uh from comer georgia outside of athens to join us today and yeah like seriously please do this again we will we love to see to. you thank back you in for the having future. us for having us yeah right on safe travels home and uh we'll see you again thank you thanks